bloody. Okay, we talk about, I'm trying to do some more advanced applications. I always go on about using for load shaving. Here is a very, very nice application, a small workshop. Um, we've got a limited amount of power we can pull because it's shared with other people. And so we can only limit the power and we've actually got 1.5 kilowatt. Now the problem is we've got a heater and we've got a kettle and other bits, so we can't, it's a bit of a problem. So what we've done here, we've configured the unit, we've got two batteries here. Obviously, I've, we check to make sure the dip switches are programmed correctly. So that there's two units, which are, one is a master, one is a slave. And so the dip switches, if you actually follow the instructions on the, the battery instruction manual, it will tell you that the dip switch is on the master. Um, and it shows you which is actually the number two is switched on. And on the slave is number one and number two switched on. That's for two batteries. That then, we then connect here to the CAN bus and it goes onto the canvas, onto the inverter. So let's just look at some of the settings uh, because it's quite important here. So we go back onto the settings, press the cog in the corner, go onto the settings here, and then we go into battery. Battery lithium, can zero. So lithium can zero, so it's working. We've got no solar on here, so there's no solar LED, there's no fault condition, AC on, normal conditions working. Here we set the, the battery capacity and we set the maximum charge, maximum discharge of the battery. This is a global setting. Uh, here, if we go to battery charge, this is the maximum battery charge setting. In fact, what we can do here, because we're going to be using off grid, grid signal, or we're not, we're not using generator grid. And in fact, what we can do is we can take the, the battery setting up a little bit higher. Uh, so we can take it, maybe let's just whack it up a bit. Okay, there we go. Don't forget, this is the battery current. This is the battery current setting. Here is the system mode. I've just set use timer, everything to 100%. So basically the battery will pull from the grid and charge to 100%. Um, I've now gone onto the grid setting here and I've used here, which is grid peak shaving, 1.5 kilowatt. I put the CT coil on the, on the grid connection, which it should be. And so basically when the power pulls more than 1.5 kilowatt, then it will pull from the battery. And if you see here now, you see the battery from this flow, you see the battery is delivering 614 watts. And in fact, the total load here is 1.46 kilowatt. Um, if I turn the load off here, and this is the load connection, I turn the load off and you'll suddenly see what's gonna happen is it's reversing. So it's putting the same energy back into the battery. So it's pulling a constant power off the grid, um, which is set at 1.5 kilowatt. And you see here, it's, it's working beautifully. Um, so it, it's constant, constant power. And you see the grid power here, um, and you see what's going on. If I put the load back onto it again, so there's no load, because I switched the load off. Uh, if I switch the load back on again here, and the load is, 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 a, is a small heater, and the load will pick up, and you suddenly see here, look, now, now the load is 1.9 kilowatt load. I'm drawing 1.5 off the grid, which I looked at, and I'm drawing the balance off the um, battery. It's a really, really nice, we obviously got our SunSync data logger. It's a really nice um, situation. And one of the things is, I'm limiting here, so I've got a limited power. What we always had the problem is making, if we put the kettle on here, we switch the kettle on, I won't show you the cups, they're all dirty, <laughs> to make a cup of tea. And so we put, a, we put the kettle on is to make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever. And when, when the kettle comes on, then that's the problem. So it was blowing the fuses, but putting this, in, this could be for an electric vehicle, could be an electric car, could be anything at all. This has got, this is amazing. And this is the future. This is what we're gonna be using on lots and lots of applications. So it's perfect. So if you follow, I, I'm rushing quite quickly going through it, but if you follow the connections, then it's dead easy to use. Thanks for watching, cheers.